Hey you guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, it's going to be on how to use your digital Bible study journal. So once you have made your purchase and you've received your download, you can actually open it up in whichever uh, note-taking app you prefer. For today's video, I'm going to be using GoodNotes. All right, and then as you can see, I already have the... Um, the journal downloaded and I had it open which is why it just popped up that way but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you how you would go about uh, opening it up and importing it for the first time so over here where it says new if you select plus then import it'll take you to your downloads you just find it select it and it'll begin the download um, and it'll pop right up here and then you can get started in order to access the, the hyperlinks that are within the journal, you want to make sure that you are in this format here. Um, so if you notice, it's got the gray toolbar and this option over here, I'm not sure what it's called, but I call it the pen tool. Um, it's got the circle around it with the pen. This is the screen that you want to be in in order to you know navigate from page to page. Um, when you see it look like this with the blue toolbar up top and it's got the line through the pen, this is actually where you would do your annotate, annotating. Um, so you'd be able to use the pen, highlighter, lasso tool, all of that. Uh, so we'll get started. Okay, now from the cover page, you can really click anywhere um, and it'll take you to the next page, which is the intro page. Um, now the intro page is just, you know, it's got a little something to give you an idea of what the journal is about. And here on the second page, it'll give you some helpful tips and hints for when you are studying the Word of God. Um, now, obviously, if you have your own methods that work for you, you can continue doing those. This really is just kind of a guide um, to get you going if you are maybe stuck or if you are, um, you know, trying this for the first time, like note taking or, you know, reading, um, anything like that. Or if you just want to kind of just test it out just to see if it works. So there are multiple, you know, tips here that you can choose from um, and do whatever works for you. Now over here in this corner, you'll find this orange box with the um, words click here. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the YouTube page um, directly to this, this video tutorial on how to use this um, journal. Now up top, you'll find Two tabs, the pink one says cover, and that'll take you to the cover page from um, any page that you might be in on in the journal. And then the brown one says intro, and that takes you back to this welcome intro page here. Um, the reason it didn't move is because we're currently in that page, but if we go over and try it, you'll find that the links do work. Um, but let's go back. So the first tab is for faith goals. These are, um, you know, there are questions on this, these two pages to sort of guide you in mapping out any goals that you might have for spiritual growth. Um, and they're very open-ended, so you can focus on whatever, you know, comes to mind. If it's scripture memorization, if it's working on your prior life, reading daily, you name it, you can write it down and the idea is that really this gives you a place to kind of go back to and look over what it is that you are focusing on and what steps you'll take to make sure that you achieve it. Um, this is something that you can use as often as you'd like. So you'll find that there's only one page in the journal for this and that's because some people might choose to do one goal that they focus on for the year. Um, but you are able to duplicate this page as often as you'd like. So if you're someone who wants to focus on daily goals, weekly goals, monthly, quarterly, you know, that is your prerogative and you're able to do it, you would just duplicate this page. And I'll show you how to do that um, as we get a little bit further in the video. Now, the second tab is the books of the Bible. And um, this index here has all 66 books with corresponding hyperlinks to the overview page. So as you saw, I just clicked on Genesis and it takes me here to the overview. Now on this first page, this box up here that says set the stage, that is really to give you some um, contextual information. So just to get a deeper understanding of the book of the Bible that you're, you know, 
reading from and what's going on at that time and what God is trying to teach us through, um, honestly, just through the context of, of what's going on. So then below it, you've got six boxes um, that allow you to kind of dive in a little bit deeper. So one for themes, key people, Christ scene, how to apply it to your life, symbols, extra notes. And then on the second page, we see there are, um, it's just notebook page and this extra box on the side. And you're able to do really whatever you'd like with it. Um, if you have specific notes that you want to take, if you want to jot down keywords and definitions or scriptures that stuck out, or maybe you want to doodle on the side, you know, it's entirely open-ended. Um, and each book of the Bible might look different. Now, the idea behind this is that um, you're able to use this in whatever way you see fit. So if you decide that, you know, you're going to start reading Genesis, but you want to kind of take an overlook, um, take an overview of it before you get into it. And maybe you do some research on who the author is of this book or the time period or different things like that, just to kind of prepare you before diving in and reading the book, you're able to do that. Now, um, if you are someone who wants to be able to go over it afterwards, you can do that also and go back and when you finish reading Genesis, make note of, you know, what themes came up or where is evidence of Christ seen even in the first book of the Bible, you know, it's entirely up to you. The purpose behind it is so that you can really meditate on the word and be able to remember the things that you read and the things that you learn. And that comes through repetition. And so, yes, there are other areas in the journal where you can actually take your daily notes, but this is to make sure that you're able to remember and summarize, um, what you, what you learn. So, um, yeah. And just to kind of show you, like I said, they're all linked, hyperlinked. Um, then the next tab here is for the daily reading. Um, it's called today's reading. So there are two versions of this. If you slide over, you'll see there is this one here that has just like the blank page, um, on the side. And then this one that's got everything. And these are also pages that you can duplicate as often as you need them. Um, now, the reason for the two versions of it is that, you know, some people might prefer to not have so many guided questions and, you know, prompts here. Um, you may choose to, again, doodle or um, insert some stickers or mix and match. Um, and this will allow you to do that without having to constantly, you know, copy and paste over uh, things. Now, these are all available as widgets, which um, I'll show you in another video how to access the widgets. So you can still use these tools even on the other page, but you can kind of decide, you know, how big you want them or what, what order you want them in. Um, but these are all just to make sure that you're able to really focus in on your daily reading and get as much out of your reading as you can and really understand what is God trying to say to you through the text, through that chapter. Um, and there's no, I'm going to zoom in just so you can really see, you can read in any order that you would like. So if you decide that you want to take just one chapter and focus in here, you can do that. If you read three chapters and you're making all of your notes in here, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then the other option that I'm going to show you too is let's say you kind of get into it and you like the prompts, but then you just need some extra note notebook paper. Um, there are extra pages that you can insert and I'll show you how to do that also. So we're going to keep going um, to the next tab, which is the reading log. And this has two different uh, trackers for your reading. So you can do a monthly one where you're just tracking, you know, okay, did I read every day? Um, and then it's got a couple questions for the end of month end of month check-in and then this one over here is a little different this is I mean you could do it in that same format of reading each day but this really is supposed to be to focus if you decide that you want to dedicate you know one month to reading one book in the bible um, you would just put in you know genesis and then mark off each day that you do read and then keep track of it that way and then same thing these pages just like all of the other pages can be duplicated as often as you need them okay that. Now, if we go over to um, this tab here, this is scripture memory. This will take you um, to this open-ended page or open-ended pages where you are able to 
just kind of go at your own pace and make note of whichever scriptures it is that you want to focus on. So if you notice, it's got just lines where you would actually write down the specific um verse that you want to memorize and then you'll write where it's from the book chapter verse and then you can just repeat 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 and memorize it that way um or maybe you want each one to be a different one it's up to you um there's no right or wrong way to do it this is just so that you can get as much practice in as you um can and and really hold on to the word of god okay and then the last tab like i had just kind of mentioned is the uh, extra pages tab and this is just notebook pages and you can insert these in any you know any part of the the journal that you'd like so i'm going to show you what i mean by that so let's say we go here now in order to make adjustments and duplicate pages you want to be okay let me, oh, if i click here <laughs> you want to be in the non-pen format uh, we'll call it um, and the reason for that is that, so to duplicate pages, there are a couple of ways that you can go about doing that. You can hit this little page plus button here and then hit current template, or, I mean, you can use these other ones, but really if you want to just duplicate the page that you're on, just hit current template, template, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, template, and use it that way. Another option is if you select these four squares here, it shows you an overview of all of the pages. And what you can do is, um, in the current page that you're on, hit that little arrow, down arrow button, and then you can do duplicate, and then you can decide where you want to do it. Um, now, if I was looking to, okay, trying to get to the bottom here. If I was looking to um, insert a page, I might move the page around you can move it um oh. you can move it to a different area you can um add it like i said before or after let's see we're going to duplicate and then i'm going to click and hold it down and then just drag it so let's say maybe i want it here and i just want a blank page now i'm going to open up so i inserted that page after um first peter the first Peter overview. And then if I slide over now it's in there and now I can make as many notes as I want. Um, and if you notice, I had to go back into that pen format, we'll call it now. Let's see. Um, I'm actually going to do that again just to get somewhere else. Over here, you have the pen tool that allows you to write um, as you wish, if you hold it down, there's different options for the kind of pen. Over here is different um, options for the thickness of the pen, color of the pen. Then this is the eraser tool with different size erasers, highlighter tool. Uh, and I like to really use this to just kind of, if I am going for a color scheme or if, if you want to match it to, you know, the journal that you're in, you can do that. Um, and then the lasso tool, inserting stickers and all of that fun stuff. Um, so there will be more tutorials on how to do all of those extra things. If you'd like, this really is just a tutorial on how to use the journal itself. And I don't want it to be too lengthy. So um, for the sake of time, I'm going to leave that to a separate video. Now, um, as I mentioned before, there will be included in your purchase stickers and widgets that you can include. Um, and again, those are going to be in a separate video for the sake of time. But um, I forgot I duplicated that. Uh, here is where I might insert stickers. Um, so if I have an aha moment and I want to insert, you know, the light bulb sticker, I would do it here. Um, or if I want to add in a little prayer, I do it here. It's, you know, it, it can be as simple or complex as you'd like it to be. Um so I think that about covers everything. Please feel free to, you know, reach out with any questions that you have. Um, I think it should be pretty straightforward. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, and just see the following videos to come. Um, you know, that'll have tutorials on, on widgets and, and stickers and other things like that. So I thank you so much for tuning in.